Hello everyone, it is I, Republic Studs, back at it again with another video. Now, in today's video, I am going to be showing you every LEGO Star Wars The Mandalorian figure, along with this custom cool I made, and how to customize them. With that said, please make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and comment down below what characters you want to see from Season 2, and we'll get right on into it. The Mandalorian Season 2 is coming out, and I want to do a little recap of all the figures we've gotten so far from The Mandalorian Show. So what I'm going to be doing today is showing you every single figure from The Mandalorian Show, and how to customize them. Here is the Mandalorian himself, um, Din Djarin. Now, the way in way you would customize him, you either make him have a face print or not. I would, if you were, I'd personally use Cassie and Andor's face and hair, but you never really see it, so it's not really worth it. And what I did was I bought a Cape Cantina cape. Um, you use code Arstud's promo for, I believe, 10 to 15% off if you want your own. And it basically covers his entire torso, and there's like printing back there, and there's printing on it that covers the Mandalorian minifigure almost beautifully. Um, I personally don't have these at the moment, but Firestar Toys also sells custom printed uh, arms that you get for the Mandalorian, which I've heard really bring them out, as well as a custom helmet if, you know, this one isn't your cup of tea. Um, apparently this one is like the Death Watch one, but they just kind of took off the markings, which I find pretty interesting. I, I would have liked them to do something different, honestly, since he's the main focus and character of the show. I gave him this little pistol right here, uh, which I think is pretty cool. And yeah, let's move into the next figure. Next up, we have a very grumpy looking Grief Karga from The Mandalorian Season 1, and he's going to be in Season 2. But this was from the Razor Crest set, and it's pretty cool. I like him a lot. He has these two nice little pistols that I gave him, and I also gave him this cape. Now, I'm not sure where the cape's from. I know I have it in my collection, but it works almost perfectly with this um, because this color matches his arms and this color matches his, uh, you know, torso. So I thought that matched really well. You could also reverse it, but I think it looks better like this. Um, it's honestly just a really fun figure. I didn't really have too much to do with him. I wanted to get one of the smaller capes that we see, like, on the Man new Mandalorians, but I didn't find any one with the correct color. Uh, so that's where I am with the one and only Grief Karga. Ladies and gents, here is Quill. Now, obviously, Lego didn't make him, but I wanted to experiment with this, and I wouldn't recommend. I took the Ugnaught head and basically put goggles on it, and it looks terrible. <laughs> I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Um, not only does it look terrible, and he has a huge bald spot, if you, like, even remotely touch it, like, here, here, I'll just show you. Like, if you want to just slightly move it, yeah, it just pops off. Um, don't do this. Wait for them to make an official one. I'm sure they will. I hope. I hope they will, at least. Um, the rumor has it, I'll, I'll go over that a bit at the end of the new Mandalorian set rumor, but but yeah, let's move into the next one. AG-11, now I didn't improve him too much, I know a lot, what a lot of people will do is they'll like take the, say, the Magna Guard torso, and give him that, or they'll make a whole custom buff looking thing, and I honestly think Lego is fine, this stays within the realm of how Lego droids generally look, like with battle droids, and I think to keep it, you know, coherent with their makes sense with the rest of the figures, I think this is fine. Um, nothing changed with the head. I only gave him uh, Brick Arms Blasters because I think that worked the best. Uh, his E-11 that I believe he might have stolen from a Stormtrooper or something. And then you'll turn him around. He has his uh, little, uh, I don't know what's, I want to call it a pulse rifle, but I know it's not called that. And I know he like holds it like his elbow shown. So they kind of like are even in the show. Like they're kind of look the same in terms of size, but they're not. <laughs> I mean, in terms of Lego, actually, they're not too far off. They're about only half. It looks more, it looks like less in lore, but in terms of Lego, it's pretty good. Um, yeah, let's move into the next one, I guess. Next up, we have the amazing Cara Cynthia Dune of Alderaan. Um, this is the character played by Gina Carano, who actually recently viewed one of my Instagram stories, which is really cool, the actor. Um, so I gave her her little uh, rotating gun, I don't know the name for this one, it's like a World War II gun. If anyone knows the name of it, tell me in the comments below. And the figure's already pretty darn perfect, obviously they could have done like the gloves better, um, but the, you know, that's what happens. I really like the way they did the silvering on this, ooh, is that cracked? No, that's not cracked. Uh, I think they did it great, I think they did the face print pretty decently. Um, could have done better with the face print, but I really liked how they did the torso. And the way they did the leg print, I think this is the only weird part. Like, you'll, if anyone has paid attention, 
Look at that. That's just not normal. Uh, but yeah, let's move in to the next figure. This is one of the Mando's blue friends, a uh, guy on Instagram and YouTube and everything named Brigopotamus uses this figure. Um, I like to almost call him like Sully because he has like blue and purple and I really like that uh, about him and the way he has like the green cape. Now, with this guy, I gave him a little uh, Boba Fett blaster because, you know, those just work perfectly with the Mandalorian. I'm not sure what he had in lore. I didn't really see him. I tried to find him in the show. I couldn't. But I gave him a CAC jetpack, which is very cool. I totally recommend everyone do that. It's broken. Usually they look like this. Um, that just literally broke off like a second as I went to go record. I don't know why. Uh, but yeah, that happened. Um, these guys, I believe, have back printing. Yep, you're never going to see it. So there's no point in showing you, I guess. Um, and yeah, I think these guys look absolutely stunning and the way they customized each of these Mandalorians individually is honestly awesome. The guy who has the Jag eyes, I don't, I don't know his name again, but I like to think of him as like, he's like Captain Rex's, um, he's Captain Rex's little, uh, eyes, which I find very cool actually, those are like the honor eyes or something. Uh, I gave him a little, uh, pulse cannon, I believe that's a T-21. Um, he's a pretty bl plain one, I still gave him a CAC orange jetpack. Um, so yeah, if you do that, that'll make this figure look a hundred times cooler. And for all of these Mandalorians, Firestar toys, um, I have a code and everything in the code in the description, but they have the printed arms for these, which make these a hundred times better. I sadly haven't been able to get them yet. I might have ordered them, I think. Uh, they might be coming in soon, which is very cool, but I totally recommend you do that as well. We have a female Mandalorian, a female Mandalorian. Um, I don't know her name. But I'm just going to call her Pink Sabine, because why not? Um, Pink Sabine, or, oh my god. I just said Pink Sabine. This is green. <laughs> oh, my brain just went to mush. This is green. Why did I say pink? Probably because Sabine's pink. Um, sorry about that. This is green Sabine. That, that just rhymes too much now. I don't like it. But it's green Sabine, and she comes with a little radio communications pack, and I feel so dumb. Uh, we got uh, her, her printing and everything, and she comes with a Mando gun, and yeah, it, it's green Sabine, ladies and gentlemen. Um, your, your favorite Mandalorian prince, Disney princess um, coming to a theater near you. She has a little uh, mark in the same place Boba Fett does. Interesting. Next up we have this one who is probably my second favorite figure from the Mandalorian Battle Pack. Um, this is the Grey Mandalorian. I just love this one. Between the black contrasting on the tan piece, contrasting on the light bluish thing, contrasting on the orange. It is just perfect between literally every element. And I think the silver gun and the jetpack to match the pants arm and arms work perfectly in unison. I honestly couldn't think of a better combo for this figure. I like everything about it. It is perfect. It's a nice... Re it look almost looks like that looks like Fresh Beskar. Is that Fresh Beskar? That kind of looks like Fresh Beskar. But yeah, let's move into the final three figures, and then we'll get into the outro. One of the thugs. Um, I always I thought these guys looked a lot like the guys from Return of the Jedi and Jabba's like sail barge and everything. Uh, apparently they're not. They're like these weird dog creatures, but they don't look like the dog creatures in this, if I'm being completely honest. I was like looking, watching this ep that episode the other day, and they don't look like dog creatures. Like they had like the little like snarl things. So maybe this was based off of concept art. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, these are the pirate dudes that attacked the village. Uh, this is an Ultron piece. Um, this is a piece that they used for an Ultron, one of the Avengers. And then they gave him a little rebel pistol. And then there's this guy who uh, he came with a little like side brandishing, and they gave him a custom gun, and he looks cool. Let's move into the last one. Last figure is the Scout Trooper. I like to think it's the one that punched Baby Yoda. <laughs> Sorry about that. But yeah, here's Baby Yoda, by the way. I, I, I didn't show him, but he is a figure from the series. But yeah, I just gave him a little custom pistol. I think this is a great interpretation of the Scout Trooper. While not his first appearance, it is definitely a really good one. And I'm finally very happy that I got to grab my hands on one of these scout troopers. Since I got the Razor Crest, I haven't really gotten to like, have time to play, you know, play around with it and see what it could do. So what I want to do today is see if I can fit all of these characters in the Razor Crest. Now, obviously, and I just shot off the laser. But yeah, I was gonna try to take off this, but then so that way you'd see it. But you know, it, it's gonna be a pain. So first, I think we are going to try and put 
the Mandalorian in here. Uh, this is just something I want to do for fun. And there's two seats back here. So we're obviously going to put the child in. Um, we're going to get him up here. Um, chilling with the Mandalorian. We'll have him in his lap because that's adorable. And then who else should we have in the front? Uh, maybe Kuil. He he's been in the front. We're going to have Kuil up here. Clip it in. Boom. Then we are going to check under here. Um, in the little Beskar loading bay, which is pretty cool. And we are going to have our Mandalorians load up for battle. Maybe we could have them, like, go straight through the door, see if that works. Um, but yeah, they're, they're, go ooh, and that falling too. Um, we're going to have them going run in and then boom, boom. And then we're just going to, you know, find the other Mandalorians and have them squeeze in. Come on, guys. You, there's room for more. And then the Mando is going to have everyone drop out at once and then it's going to be great and it'll make a really cool movie that you can buy action figures from them. We're just going to shove Cara Dune and IG-11 up there and get, stay in there. Stay in there. Like that, everyone is loaded up. Oh, wait, wait, sorry. Um, there we go. Everyone's loaded up, all perfect and brand new um, in here with the... And something fell out. Uh, we got this guy... <laughs> Poor guy. If you're wondering where some of the other people are, we got uh, this guy right here. And in the escape pod, we have his friend because, you know, his friend was like, I don't belong here. And then he just got in the escape pod. But yeah, so now we could, can't wait to see in The Mandalorian season um, two where, you know, the scout trooper is just standing here. And then Mando, you know, just flies up and then goes whoosh. And then he just like, you know, and everyone just falls out on him. And then it's going to be great. That's going to be the season finale, ladies and gents. I'm sorry. I spoiled it. The Mandalorian just dive bombs everyone. And then, you know, he escapes with Baby Yoda because that's all we care about. With <laughs> that said, let's get into the outro. If you guys enjoyed the video. Now, obviously, if you want to get this custom cape on the Mandalorian, go to Cape Cantina and use code uh, RSTUDS PROMO to save yourself, I believe, 10% off, so if you want that, it's like 3 bucks. I totally recommend. Shipping is super cheap, even internationally. And, yeah. So, with that said, please remember to subscribe, hit the bell, do all the other buttons. I really appreciate everyone watching. We're so close to The Mandalorian coming out. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace out, and stay awesome.